What's up guys, it's me Rock Bagers, professional freestyle rider and in the past years I have been teaching people how to do tricks and how to improve the riding in general and today I'm gonna show you five easy tips how to handle your bike easier and more efficient for any type of rider. Let's go! So let's start with a super easy one, but a very handy one. The side stand turn. This skill you use when you want to turn the bike on the very tight spot. <laughs> and it's way, way quicker than the push and pull technique. As you can see, you don't need to apply a lot of force. You're using the balance point of the bike and no matter which type of bike. And here is how you do it. You put down the side stand. Don't be afraid, it will not break or bend. And then, okay, so then with the left hand, you go on the throttle. You pull the handlebar towards the tank. With the right hand you go on the back side of the bike and then you pull the bike to you and lift up the front wheel. Then you switch the legs and hold the bike here on, on the right leg. And then you lift the rear part of the bike on the stand and you see it, now it's balancing. And then when it's balancing you're ready to turn the bike. One important tip before you start to turn the bike is to apply force more backwards so the side stand cannot close. So now we are ready to turn slowly step by step, small steps. And if you feel you are losing the balance, leave the bike back and start once again pivoting the bike. So up, switch the legs, pull up and then we continue to turn. Boom, easy as that. Two quick tips before you do the side stand turn, check the floor, it shouldn't be a soft tarmac, otherwise you're gonna make a big hole into the floor. Wow, what a hole. And you don't wanna do that. And if you're doing adventure off-roading and you hit the soft ground, then you can find a bigger stone or piece of wood and place it under the side stand so you can turn the bike. I cannot put enough into words how important is the next riding tip. It's the so-called two-finger clutch style. Usually my students are using four fingers on the clutch, which is my opinion way too much power on the clutch and you cannot hold the handlebar properly. The right way to do it is two finger on the clutch and two finger on the handlebar. With this style you have more control on the handlebar and more feeling on the clutch. And this comes handy when you ride through the traffic jam or on the technical off-road riding. A simple and a very effective way to practice your two-finger clutch style is the so-called circle exercise. You can do it at home or on an empty parking lot. You just need to find some cones or some stones or whatever to make a circle where you're gonna practice. Approach the circle from the outside and when you feel comfortable enter the circle. Second thing is body position. Don't look down on your front wheel, but turn your upper body into the direction you want to go. Look in this direction. Automatically the upper body will turn and help you to make the circle. And to make the tight circle, put your bottom on the outer edge of the seat. The next thing is controlling the speed. You do that with the clutch. Try to find the clutch point, means the point where the clutch is sliding. And the second thing, use the foot brake. And with a combination of those two things, you will have a smooth speed in the tight circle. And don't use the front brake. If you do it, you will lose the balance. Once you're comfortable with this exercise, you can of course challenge yourself and make the circle smaller. And with this, you will push your two finger clutch skills even more. Yo guys, this episode is supported by my friends Hayes Power Sports from USA. And they sent me this heavy box 
they said there is something special for my super adventure and for you my subscribers so I would say it's time to unbox it bullseye boom check this oh my god so we have nice hay stickers oh my god they made t-shirts check that with my logo me doing a stoppy and haze nice Boom. we have a lot of t-shirts that's sick then we have an ogio haze cap another cap that's really cool material man uh, more shirts Here's something else. Another shirt. <laughs> this is nice, right? So guys, all those t-shirts are definitely not only for me, but also for you. So I'm gonna give away three of those. And all you need to do is follow Hayes Power Sports Instagram account. And the second and last thing, screenshot this vlog, spread the vlog on your Instagram stories or Facebook stories and tag me so I can see it. Good luck. Last thing. Renato, which one? The Hayes Mysterious bread box or the envelope? Envelope. Envelope first. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. What? There's no dollar signs inside. <laughs> okay. Uh, we have a nice message. Rock, thanks for riding with Hayes. Hope you enjoy our X32 reflex calipers, Alex and Manuela. Thank you, girls. Thank you for the support. Okay, let's open up. I know now that inside are calipers. Oh my freaking God. Check this. With my logos on the calipers. Man, this looks really, really nice. Thank you, Hayes, for going the extra mile and pimp the calipers with my rock on logo okay let's put these two beauties on my super adventure My brake setup is updated, so if you want to do the same for your bike, head over to HayesPowerSports.com online shop and check out what I got. And now I think it's time for the next riding tip. The next riding skill is all about braking. I get really, really nervous when I see people braking with all four fingers. How you can have a feeling with the, the full power? So please guys, I recommend you warmly two fingers on the throttle or on the handlebar so you can hold better the bike and two fingers rests always on the brake lever. Uh, the reaction time is quicker and you have a way way better feeling especially on the wet surface. When you go off-roading where the surface changes all the time and you need to adjust really really quick and uh, yeah also on the road riding I use it when I go for the trips with my adventure sometimes also on the off-road and also on my stunt bikes when I do stoppies and even when I go racing on the weekend. Once you will get used to the two-finger style of braking, you will never go back. 
The next tip is coming also from my own experience and a lot of pain too. So the tip is don't squeeze and hold the handlebars too tight. It will stiffen up your whole body and you will not be able to see in the direction you want to go because you are stiff here, you can't turn your body and you cannot predict what is in front of you and of course you don't want that. How to improve that is actually use your legs, squeeze the bike between your legs and relax the hands on the handlebar. This way you can move your upper body way better. Okay guys, and here's a quick proof that you can ride a bike even if you don't hold the handlebar. So I'm squeezing my bike between the legs and I can go right if I want and I can go left if I want. And we're gonna turn and again squeezing the bike between the legs and we can go left to right and we can do even turn around if we want yep need more space for that but yeah you get a point and you relax more on the longer trips and definitely more efficient just a small tip guys if you want to hold yourself even better on the bike i recommend you to get a set of tank grips okay we are now on the last riding tip no it's not really a riding tip it's more how to impress your date when you meet for the first time mm -hmm. and, I need you. and i'm gonna show you now a few ways how you can arrive at the date and look like a total badass And we are on the end of this episode and those were my tips and tricks how you can improve your riding and be more efficient on the bike, be more safe and maybe get a girlfriend or boyfriend, you can thank me later. And last but not least, we need to announce the winner of the latest giveaway. Drop it! Boom! Where you could win this brand new Scorpion EXO ADX1 modular helmet. Man, that's sick. And. Who is the winner? Who is the winner? Let me check. Thomas Kolodze. Kolodze. I hope I pronounce your name properly. And have fun with the new helmet, Thomas. And guys, that's it for this time. Drop some comments below which riding skill I should teach you next time. That's it. See you next time. Until then, rock on.